Major events in the Mafia world have taken place over time. One such event was the hit on the three capos. Meet Anthony Fat Tony Salerno, Carmine the Cigar Galante, and Philip Rusty Rastelli. Three men who once held sway at the pinnacle of the underworld, invoking respect and dread in equal measure. They were the capos, the captains, the key players in the notorious Bonanno crime family. Their influence extended far and wide, their names murmured in hushed whispers across the sinister alleyways of the underworld. Yet even these formidable figures couldn't evade the treacherous tides of their world. The order for the hit originated from their own kin, the very family they were part of, the Bonanno. But why? What could provoke such a betrayal? In the underworld, loyalty is transient and betrayal is a currency. The underworld communicates in the language of violence, the message always crystal clear. The stage was set for a chilling spectacle of power and retribution amidst the pulsating music and flashing lights of a swanky nightclub. The three capos, pillars of the Bonanno crime family, were marked for a hit. This ruthless decision was handed down by none other than their own boss, Joseph Massino. The atmosphere was heavy with dread as the capos were cunningly lured into a deadly trap set in the VIP section of the club. The plan was painstakingly detailed, the executioners pitiless. Unaware of the danger ahead, the three capos arrived unarmed for a meeting intended to resolve differences. Despite the inherent risk, they chose to proceed. The details of the murders remain chilling. Giacconi and Trinchera were unarmed and trusting when they walked into the club, unaware of the sinister plot awaiting them. They were gunned down in a hail of shotgun fire, a gruesome scene only compounded by the pistol shots delivered to their heads at close range. Their bodies were then disposed of in secret, hidden from the authorities and their loved ones for decades. And with the capos out of the picture, the stage was primed for a power shift. The shocking execution of the capos had sent ripples of uncertainty through the ranks of the Bonanno crime family. The murders of the three captains ushered in a new era for the Bonanno crime family, with Massino at the helm. He took over the organization at a time of turmoil and disarray, tasked with the monumental challenge of restoring its former glory. Through shrewd leadership and strategic alliances, Massino steadily rebuilt the family's reputation and influence, transforming it from a marginalized entity to a prominent player in the underworld, as he consolidated power and expanded their operations, many wondered whether he would be able to finally heal the wounds that had plagued the Bonanno family for years. The fate of the organization rested heavily on his shoulders.